Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the popcorn stitch, which you can see a swatch here. Uh, it's a very dense, very, very textured stitch. It's quite thick, so if you're looking for a stitch uh, that creates a very thick, plush fabric, this stitch is for you. Uh, popcorns are quite fun and easy to work. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as some cotton yarn by Lion Brand Yarn. You'll find links to both of these items in the description of the video. As well in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, feel free to let me know down in the comments how you would use this stitch or if you've used it in the past, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Our tutorial today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making our slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to have a mu even multiple of stitches so a multiple of two today I'm going to chain 20 Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. Into the next stitch, we're going to work our first popcorn stitch. To work the popcorn stitch, you're going to work five double crochet stitches into the next stitch, all into the same stitch. So five double crochet stitches all into that next stitch. Next, you're going to remove your hook from the loop and insert it under the back uh, under the loops of the first stitch that you worked in that set of five. I am inserting my hook from the front through to the back. You're going to reach across, grab a hold of that loop, and pull it through. This is going to cause your popcorn uh, to pop out away from you, which is the right side of your fabric. So I'll just show you that one more time. You've worked your five double crochet stitches. Remove your hook from your loop. Insert your hook from the front through to the back under the top loops of the first double crochet stitch that you worked. Reach across, pick up that loop again, and pull it through. We're then going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to repeat. Work five double crochet stitches into your next stitch. Remove your hook from your loop. Insert your hook back in the first double crochet stitch that you worked in that set of five. 
reach across, pick back up your loop again, and pull the loop through. Single crochet into the next stitch. Now the fun thing about the popcorn stitch is you don't have to work it as I'm working it here. You can work a popcorn stitch anywhere in your project that you want to create this big texture. So we're going to repeat that all the way across, work a popcorn stitch in your next stitch, followed by a single crochet in the next. Repeat it all the way across, you'll end with a single crochet in your final stitch of the row. At the end of row two, chain one, turn your work and you so should see all of your little popcorn stitches now facing you. For row three, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and into each stitch all the way across. So we're working into the top of each popcorn stitch and each single crochet stitch all the way across your work. At the end of row three, chain one and turn your work. And that's it as far as the repeat is concerned. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So row two was your single crochet in the first stitch, followed by a popcorn stitch in the next stitch. And then your row three, which was your single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So repeat those for as long as you would like, then fasten off, weave in your ends, and enjoy your project. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Bye.